The producers of Deutsche Welle's program Conflict Zone can hardly believe what they're watching. Program host Michel Friedman describing how the latest edition of the show was confiscated by the Turkish government. On Monday, Friedman and his team traveled to Ankara to conduct an interview with the Turkish Minister of Youth and Sport. The issues up for discussion were sent to the ministry in advance. Friedman asked questions about the coup attempt in July and the subsequent crackdown, press freedom and women's rights. But once the interview concluded, Turkish authorities ordered Friedman and his team to hand over the footage. The DW team was told it would not be allowed to leave the ministry until they complied. Das ist natürlich ein echter Skandal, was die Türkische What the Turkish Regierung government did was scandalous, and we cannot simply accept it because we've never experienced anything like it before. Bisher noch nicht erlebt. Conflict Zone is known for its confrontational style. Hard-hitting questions and aggressive follow-ups are hallmarks of the program. Certainly, it wasn't a soft interview. It was always going to be a tough interview covering a range of subjects. The Turkish side knew the format, they knew the subjects. The only way I can explain it is that this is a very nervous government that's drifting toward dictatorship. In response to DW's protests, the Turkish government said that Friedman did not stick to the agreed questions, and the report should therefore not be broadcast. But the Conflict Zone team says no specific questions were ever agreed to. DW has called for the immediate release of the confiscated material and is also considering legal action.